So I'm here doing an interview with the assistant principal, and we are just going to ask her a couple die-harding questions. So, um, I'm ready. Why do you want to spread the word of the happiness advantage here at Jane Adams? Mm, happiness advantage. Well, who doesn't want to be around happy people? Would you want to be around negative people all the time? I think that um, the happier that we are, the more enjoyable life could be. Yeah. Why is this school different from others? And what is another message you would like to send? Um, well, one, th the message I would send is that Jane Addams is absolutely, positively, hands down the best with the students and staff. Um, but we're on a mission at this school. Um, as a staff and as students, we set goals. Um, we monitor our goals and then we make sure that they happen. We're on a mission to accomplish our goals, and, and I see each and every day when I walk through the halls that people are, are making that happen. Um, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? Oh boy. I'll be really old. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I see myself, I, hopefully, as a principal in District 54. I would be happy. <laughs> what has been the strongest action you have done here? Um, Strongest action would be spreading the Join the Movement message, getting our staff and students on board, mm -hmm. um, keeping it at the forefront of our minds, and then probably um, our other big mission definitely is to help our students feel safe and welcomed here each and every day when they walk through those doors at Adams. Um, another question is, what two words best describes Adams? Forward movement. We're not looking back at the past. We're looking straight ahead at the future, and we're making sure that we get there. So it kind of goes along with what I was saying about the goals. We set them, we're looking to improve, and we accomplish them. Yes. <laughs> so now for some funny questions. Oh, um, good. Are you a Cubs or a Sox fan? Sox fan, guys. I know people out here in the <laughs> north suburbs like Cubs fan, but I grew up as a Sox fan. But I do like going to Cubs games. Yay. <laughs> um, what do you worry about and why? What do I worry about? If I think on a daily basis, what do I worry about? It's time. Is, do I have enough time to accomplish that task? Do I have enough time to get there and make a lot of things happen? Sometimes I overcommit myself, and I think managing my time is something I worry about all the time. Okay. I might be worrying about it right now, actually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your favorite meal. My favorite meal. Oh, growing up, I think we used, my mom used to have a uh, birthday dinner for us. And we always get to pick our meal, and I always picked spaghetti. Now I wouldn't say it's spaghetti, but I don't think I can pass up a piece of pizza. A piece of pizza? Mm -hmm. Can anybody, though? I know, right? <laughs> Who has inspired you in your life, and why? Well, personally, I think a lot of my family members have, because I've watched them grow, and I've seen what they've accomplished. But when I think about, you know, my job, who's inspired me, um, it would be the bosses that I've had. I've, I've worked for three different principals um, as an assistant principal and I think for me I've, I've taken a little bit from each person kind of like as when I was a student I took a little bit from each teacher um, you you have to be learning around you so everyone inspires me in some way shape or form but right now I think um, the people that I work with. The people that you work yeah. with? Amazing answer. Yeah. Well that is all. Um, thank you for interviewing with me. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Or thanks for coming to visit me in my <laughs> office. No, thank you for letting me do the interview. Well, bye. Thank